All right, this is it. This is Disney Plus. This is as it is launching. We are on the Disney Plus website, which is one of the ways that you can take a look at this service. It's also at this point available on Roku, Fire TV, and LG TVs for sure. I haven't had a chance to check out every single platform yet, but you download the app and use your sign in, and you're seeing Avengers Endgame is available at launch. The biggest movie of the past year is available with extras. So you have like DVD features here that you usually don't find on any streaming platform. That's very cool. You'll see that, like I said, we're, we're here on the website versus an app, and we're just going to take a look at the basic look. You notice each section has a nice little animated you know, intro. It kind of gives you the feel for the branding here. And we're just taking a look at that. And what we're going to do is scroll down here and sort of take a look at how things are broken down. This is its basic home page, and you'll see that it's broken up just like any other app. You've got all the little categories, musicals, and so on. I would imagine musicals is going to be one of the bigger sections of the Disney Plus app, considering its long history of that. But we're taking a look. You might keep you notice uh, we keep seeing Avatar. I didn't realize Avatar was going to be available on Disney Plus at launch. So here in the Disney section, you see a whole breakdown, including Out of the Vault. That's a big deal. If you if people of a certain generation will remember when things would come out of the vault and go back into the vault. They're like, you know, get Bambi while it's out of the vault. And it was a really big deal. You can't have a Disney channel for any app without having a princesses section. Kind of like musicals, that could be its own app in general, Disney princesses. But you see that there's huge collection of things both from the Disney Channel and from sort of the history of Disney in general. We're going to go back to the home and jump into Pixar. And the Pixar section is actually a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. You see the unlikely heroes and Pixar through the years and there's even a section for the shorts which have always been really popular but in general, there's a lot to Pixar that you don't necessarily see jumping right out at you in this section. I don't think Disney has access, exclusive access, to everything that it owns at this moment. The rights, you know, all of the rights will be reverting to Disney over time. The search is set up in a really cool way. It breaks things down by the sorts of basic sections that you find, like in the Marvel section, you got the animated section, things like that. But it allows you to kind of jump directly into its kind of sub-properties. I didn't know there was a live-action Muppet Babies. When I was a kid, there was a cartoon for the Muppet Babies. But you see, it kind of gives you a, a feel right away as for what's out there. It searches nice and obvious. You're looking for Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, there. Find them as soon as you say Finding. Let's take a look back at the home and kind of jump back into more of these sections. Now, boy, I tell you what, there's a lot of people that have been looking forward to that Mandalorian there. Just so you know, they're only putting one episode of the Mandalorian out at a time. So if you click up here at the top, you can just go into a general movies section. But the nice thing is that they break it down into multiple categories for you, so... You can jump into whatever it is that you're looking for, including an Ultra HD section, which is cool. Because if you have a 4K HDR TV, you can look at, look at that, the Star Wars originals right there in 
4K. I think that's going to be a big hit today for people that have been waiting for this service to launch. And there's Solo, you know, the most popular Star Wars movie ever. Let's jump in. Uh, you, you notice where there's a watch list here. How do you add? Real simple. You click on a title. Click on the plus. Let's put a couple of other things in here. Click on the title. Click on the plus. And maybe Three's a Charm, the famous Simpsons movie. Click on the plus. And now we'll go to the watch list. And it's waiting there for us whenever we want to go back. What else do we have in here? Oh, we can't forget Marvel. Now, I took a look at this, and not every single Marvel Cinematic Universe movie is available. But there is a lot. Now, you know, when you jump into Marvel through the years and things like that, you're going to see, you know, Disney now has the Fantastic Four. We all knew this. And you're seeing at least animated versions of it. You know, it's going to be a while before you see the Fantastic Four on the big screen. Unless they, of course, put these cartoons on the big screen, which would be a little silly. But in general, you've got the X-Men cartoon show. This is going to be a big one. The, for, if you remember the Fox show from the 90s, that was the show that kind of inspired what became the X-Men franchise. It was you know, really connected with that generation and laid the foundation. You got your whole collection of Spider-Man things and lots of Marvel stuff here. Run, you know, this is just a little short. I, cute that they put it on there, but it's not going to do a lot for you once you watch it. But you see, Runaways is on. You know, that was an FX show. It was recently announced that FX was going to have a lot to do with Hulu, but they're putting FX content and ABC network content right here on the app. We, sh we may should expect to start seeing ABC produced television shows on the Disney Plus app at some point. Even though it's also on Hulu. So you can watch, you just, just so you know, you can check out the entire Iron Man trilogy along with Endgame and see Tony Stark's whole story. The Star Wars section, of course, is going to be the big thing. You look down there at series, you got the Mandalorian and a lot of the animated things. The the Clone Wars stuff was pretty big. The Star Wars Resistance has uh, been a, an anticipated series. So, you know, just just so you know, specials does not include the Star Wars holiday special. So, you're still going to have to watch that on YouTube. <laughs> but you notice there's a heavy, heavy dose of Lego here. As big as the Star Wars movies seem, there's not all that much in that world just yet. I, we, we all know that it's going to keep expanding. National Geographic is going to be a big deal, I think. There's so much out there. But that's that. That is your first look at the Disney Plus app. This is going to be a big, big deal. I think it's going to be the, the top app. It, if not the top app, one of the top apps in streaming. And one of the bigger debuts in streaming history. We'll, we'll be following this, but I think you're going to see millions of subscribers before the end of the year. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please subscribe. I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends.